Hi guys, Outside Creations here and today we're in beautiful Sri Lanka at Jammu Surf Lodge. So just try and ignore the wild background noises you might hear. We're working with Wex Photo Video and we're going to show you the five steps that we took to be paid to make travel films. So step one is finding a business partner. So I was lucky enough to know Pete and uh, we get on really well so that helps. And it also helps if you're kind of at a similar skill level. Um, but it is good if you can learn from each other and learn different skills. Yeah, another thing that we found really useful is that we can combine our inventory. So we've got way more kit, way more lenses, two cameras and also you've got more ideas. You can, you know, put your minds together and think of things you might not have thought of on your own. Now step two is to make your teaser video. You want to pull in all your resources, your camera equipment, friends, ideas, uh, your, your dad's, uncle's dog, that sort of thing. And you want to think about how to make your video as creative as possible because this is going to be the first video you show your potential clients. So we made our teaser video in Devon in the UK and like you said we gathered together as many resources as we could got friends of friends to help out with location, a model, etc. Um, and made something that we're really happy with. So creating this teaser video is really crucial because it gives you material to put on your website, your social medias, and it gives you a way to legitimise your whole company essentially so that clients really trust you. Step three is contacting potential clients. So the way we did it was find a specific country. So that was Indonesia. Um, and focusing on a specific area um, like Bali um, and look at loads of different businesses there um, and try and contact as many as you can. Um, these might be restaurants, hotels, that Spots. sort of thing. Yeah. Um, try and avoid big chains um, because they've usually got established media teams. Go for more independent companies, um, usually ones that have just set up. Something that's really important with the emails is to be professional but also really friendly. So you want to have no spelling mistakes and just be really polite. Um, another thing that can really give you an advantage is to have things up your sleeves like, for example, a batch of 10 photos they can use on their Instagram, social media packages, that sort of thing. Um, if you're lucky and maybe you did really well on your teaser video, the client will pay you to do the video. But normally for your first video as you're getting established, um, they'll pay expenses like accommodation and food. So step four is creating your first client video, like we said. Um, so you want to make this look really, really nice, um, really impress your client and this is going to be the thing that lands you future jobs, so pretty much make it as cinematic and creative and good looking as possible. One thing to keep in mind is when you're making this video for your first client, network, be really friendly to everyone and you never know where that next job might pop up. On our first Indonesia trip we had I think one or two extra jobs just from meeting people out there. Now step five is just to repeat this process. Now you've got another video under your sleeve, your website's looking better, you've got more stuff in your portfolio and it should just pick up momentum and more clients want you for the creative work you're making. So one tip we have that's really helped us out is taking on multiple jobs in each country. So this is going to mean that you can make extra kind of money and offset the price of travel, expenses etc and means that you'll come home with a much more fuller portfolio and work that you can show people. The process of setting up our company, Outside Creations, has been one of the most exciting um, periods of my life so far. So if you're into this sort of thing, I'll definitely give it a go. Um, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you've got any questions, please comment down below and we'll try and keep in touch. So thanks so much for watching. Take care, guys.